What's going on guys? Appreciate you guys being here and hope you guys are doing well. Well, as you can see, the time is here. Figured I would do a full comprehensive review on what is gonna be in my elk hunting backpack for this trip that I have coming up to Colorado. And just wanna do a comprehensive kind of full uh, gear review, I guess, or a bag dump. And just go through what I'm gonna be taking, what I'm gonna be using out in Colorado and trying to use this stuff to my advantage to get in close to an elk uh, for this archery elk hunt that I'm really, really looking forward to. Just a quick kind of overview of the hunt itself. We're going to be doing about nine or 10 day hunt. Uh, going to start out just kind of camping, tent camping right around the truck, uh, have a so-called base camp, but then going to have the flexibility to be out uh, in the brush in the back country for three to four days on end and not have to venture back towards the truck if we're you know four or five miles in whatever it might be two or three miles and we're getting close to elk there's no reason to go back to the truck every single night just to sleep that way you can get up that next morning and be right on top of them hopefully so that's the plan anyway this is my first time out there i'm going to go through and just kind of show you guys what i'm going to be taking first things first uh, just taking this 20 degree sleeping bag, nothing fancy here, uh, not any of the top name brands or anything like that. Uh, just got this at my local sport sporting goods store and been using this quite a few years now. Don't use it a whole lot, but it suits me well. Um, just a full side zip here and it's got the pocket there for your, your head. And then as you guys seen probably in one of the earlier videos, I did do a review on this Exo Mountain Gear. Uh, this is the K3, the 4800. With the lid, gonna be using this. All this stuff right here will go inside of this pack. Been doing a lot of rucking with this, a lot of hiking with this. Uh, I do have the crib load panel in here and uh, added quite a bit of weight to it. Been really happy with how this rides on my back. Gonna be using this every day. I use this a lot for uh, deer hunting around here and I use it a lot a whole bunch for coyote hunting. It's real handy having everything right there on your chest. Uh, this is Alaska Guide Creations with, uh, I forget there's a there's a certain name for it, but it's got the extra pouch down here at the bottom. Uh, using a Vortex Ranger 1000 range finder. And for binoculars, using my Vortex Diamondback A-Power binoculars. Uh, on the side here, Got a wind checker, definitely be using this nonstop. Um, on the back side here, got this zipper pouch back here. I've just got, um, I think a Leatherman tool back here. Uh, got my Hunter ID card, got my tags, all that necessary stuff that I'm gonna need. Over here's just another wind checker for right now. Uh, might put something else in there, but that's pretty much it for that pack. My Bino harness. Uh, gonna be using this probably to stuff my food in. I don't have any food up here right now But what I'll do first hunt when we get there We're just gonna camp at the truck. So we'll go out for a day hunt and then come back that night no matter what um, But then after that if we you know, hopefully get on fresh sign or actually locate and spot some elk Then I might put two three four days worth of food in here and some extra clothes Maybe an extra pair of socks whatever it might be this is just a good dry bag, uh, stuff bag here that I'll be using. This here is just kind of a, uh, kind of like a soft cloth that I'm gonna be keeping my camera in uh, using my Sony A6600, which is filming this video right now. It's on the tripod. This right here, super, super cheap. Um, just a setting pad, not very big, not much to it, but just enough to keep my butt dry or keep it off the of rocks if I do happen to uh, get a location where I can use a spotting scope and speaking of spotting scopes Not sure if this will go out with me at all or a few times or whatever it might be But if I do get to a location where it looks like that I can glass some this is the Athlon R's This is the 65 millimeter spotting scope as you can see nothing to compare it to here But this is a really compact really light and really superb glass anybody that watches my channel or seen what was in my Final pack there knows that I'm a huge fan of Vortex, but I read some reviews and seen some reviews where they actually compared this to the uh, Vortex Razor, I think, spotting scope and very similar in glass quality, but I've uh, been very happy with it so far, so that's what I'll be using if I do get a chance to glass. 
And then like I mentioned, using my tripod right now to film this video, but this is the fluid head that I would use. Uh, I have an Arca Swiss plate on the bottom here of the spotter. And then that would just attach right there to the top, top of my tripod. And I can just move the spotter around with that. Uh, moving on here for rain gear, uh, just using my Cabela's Space Rain uh, rain cover, rain jacket. Use this a lot for deer hunting, comes in handy when needed. Probably always just leave that in the backpack because it compresses down pretty tight, doesn't take up much room. Uh, using for sleeping pad the Climate, the Static V or Static 5 Recon uh, made by Climate. Uh, packs down pretty tight, inflatable, I think maybe 12 to 15 breaths and it's fully inflated. And then for Beagle Tube, uh, using the Phelps Beagle Tube along with, uh, I've got three other calls in here, some from the Amp Series and I'll be packing those around for bugles and uh, cow calls as well. Moving on here to my game bag, uh, just using some Allen backcountry game bags here. Let's kind of give you a quick run through. Uh, the, the game bags of course came in this stuff sack, carry sack on its own, so I just added everything else to it. There's a little extra room, might as well utilize that space. One of the knives that I'll be using when I do get an elk down is the Mora knife. Uh, Kind of a budget minded, very cheap, but man, just got an awesome edge on it. Comes out of the factory like that. Use these for a lot of years. Uh, I'll be taking my Work Sharp uh, Field, I forget the exact name of this, but it's kind of like the field use uh, knife sharpener. Have that on me. I uh, got a Havel on here with the interchangeable blades. Be taking that with me. Use this on deer quite a bit and beaver as well. And I've just got a few pair of gloves in here. Got a little bit of electrical tape, uh, a little bit of 550 cord, and there's no reason to go through this, but there's four, I think three or four different game bags here. Uh, like I say, those are the Allen backcountry game bags. Set that off to the side there. Moving on to my stove. Also did a review on this, if you guys haven't looked at this review yet. My stove and eating utensils, etc., will be in this outdoor research stuff sack. Using this Stanley pot uh, in here. Right in here is the stove, the burner. And just have a fuel canister. Have some electrolyte tabs, lighter and a long eating utensil. That's it for my stove, my cooking gear. Uh, moving on, just got a little, kind of like a field repair kit for my bow. Uh, I got some serving string in here, D-loop material, uh, a little bit of stuff for knocks, things like that. Chapstick, and I'll be using my black diamond headlamp. I forget the exact name of this, had it for quite a while. Uh, maybe the spot, I'm not real sure, but it's got uh, white, red, and green, then you can lock it out so it doesn't accidentally turn on in your backpack. And um, I'll be taking my Petzl headlamp as well for a backup, just in case this one fails for some odd reason. That one runs off of four uh, AAA batteries. This right here is the phone scope, so I can attach that to my spotter if I do eventually get the spotter out. Comes in real handy, I really like that, setting my cell phone up with it. This right here is a really awesome pack by Outdoor Research. I think I got this for like 12 bucks or something, but man, there's just all kinds of pockets in here, so much different stuff. I've actually, what I've done is kind of like my toiletry type bag, but I've also incorporated uh, my first aid kit, so it's all kind of in one bag. And I've also got extra lighters, some batteries, some uh, extra paracord in here. I think this is where I, this is also where I carry like um, Benadryl, ibuprofen, uh, Tylenol PM, all that good stuff. Super handy, all kinds of zippers, packs down really well, doesn't take up a lot of room. Uh, the knife that I'm basically going to be maybe right in my front pocket or on my uh, hip belt of my uh, EXO pack is going to be the Benchmade Crooked River. Really like this uh, folder knife really fits my hand well. It's got a pretty good size to it. Uh, it's not one that I want to, you know, wear around here with my dress pants to work every day, but man, it's just 
feels really good in the hand, really good quality. Then you guys have seen one of my earlier videos in this series. This is uh, the Sawyer Squeeze water filtration system. And then I'm using two of the c uh, bags as well. Those work a little bit better than the Sawyer Squeeze bags that come with the unit. Uh, i got some butt wipes here. Got um, emergency thermal blanket. Probably won't need this for what its real purpose is, but this is nice because it folds out to a pretty decent size. Uh, put a couple of these in my pack. And then that way, uh, when I do get an elk down, I can spread these out and that gives me a place to, to butcher and keep, keep my meat clean. Uh, old military compass that I used to use when I was in the army. Take that with me just in case cell phone goes bad or gets damaged or whatever it might be. This right here is just all my electronic stuff for my camera gear. Bunch of random stuff, uh, extra Extra power bank in here, extra backup batteries for the GoPro, different cameras, cables, pins, so I can hopefully sign that tag. And this right here, this thing takes up a little bit of room, but man, it's so light. And then, and then once you take this band off right here, this thing almost comes out into like a full-size pillow. Um, I don't sleep very well anyway back here in comfy beds, let alone out there on the side of a mountain. I know I'll be exhausted and all that, but I really want to strive to get a good night's sleep. So I'm going to take up a little extra room with this. And whenever I leave the truck and I know I'm not going to come back for three or four days, it might, might even be a case to wear that I just use like my Kelvin jacket, my sick of Kelvin jacket as a pillow. Just wad that up real tight and leave this back at the truck. We'll see, see how that goes, but really like this pillow. It does pop out to a pretty good size. Uh, these right here, these are just some cheaper trekking poles. Um, probably won't use these a lot until I get an animal down because I'll be carrying my bow and then maybe a camera uh, in the other hand. My buddy Tim that's going with me, he'll be running the camera as well, so that'll be nice. And I'll link some of this stuff down below so you guys can take a look at it there if you have any questions on it or don't hesitate to comment down below. Right here, just got some knockoff uh, Crocs. These are like half the price of um, name brand Crocs. Just be using these as camp shoes. And more importantly, you know, if we come up to a creek or decent sized stream, uh, be using these to cross the creek instead of getting boots soaking wet or trying to walk across it barefoot and, you know, take the chance of cutting your foot up or something like that. That'll ruin a hunt just as fast as anything. This will be my main water bottle. Uh, just a 48 ounce Nalgene and I'll be using the uh, smart water bottles kind of as backups just fill those up when I come to a creek get some clean water and the boots that I'm going to be wearing I did a review on these as well if you haven't seen that these are the Sullivan Quest 4D uh, GTX boots really really like these man these things felt like they came out of the box already broken in by me exactly to my foot but they just got better with time I put I don't even know how many miles since I bought these, just road miles and trail miles, getting ready for this hunt. And been super happy with these things. Not real heavy, not super rigid, but add some good support to my ankle. So we'll see how that goes. And that pretty well covers everything, guys. I'm going to be using my cell phone as my GPS source. Uh, I got my Garmin on my wrist here. I might use that as GPS, but pretty confident in my cell phone to take care of that. Um, got a tote with me that I'll keep at the truck that I might change a few things in and out. And then the other main thing that you guys don't see here on the table is my food. Uh, I've just got that all bagged up in gallon uh, Ziploc baggies. Just a lot of easy foods and then mainly just looking to have a mountain house meal every evening. Just so that way you can get a, a warm meal in the body that does, does the body, it does the soul good. And uh, that's about it. Been working my butt off for this hunt, looking forward to it. Gonna go out there and make mistakes, learn a lot, have a lot of fun. Just the main things, just to keep grinding. So hopefully I can come back from this two week trip here and have a good success story and then and then really hope to put a video together for you guys and share this adventure, share this journey. But uh, any questions whatsoever, make sure and let me know. Don't hesitate to comment down below. Try to get back to those just as soon as I can. And as always, I appreciate you guys being here. Happy hunting. Be safe. See ya. Bye.